James Webb Telescope detects the oldest dead galaxy in the known universe. And its death could challenge cosmology this galaxy that stopped making new stars when most galaxies were still very active and star-forming. A galaxy that defies our current understanding of the early cosmos and challenges our theories of galaxy evolution. Sounds intriguing, right? In this video, we will tell you all about this amazing discovery, how it was made, what it means, and why it is so important. We will also raise some questions that this discovery poses and what further research is needed to answer them. So stay tuned and get ready to explore the secrets of the oldest dead galaxy in the known universe. What is a dead galaxy? A dead galaxy is a galaxy that has stopped producing new stars, either because it has used up all its gas and dust, or because something has prevented it from forming stars. Gas and dust are the essential ingredients for star formation, and without them, a galaxy becomes inactive and dim. Most galaxies in the universe undergo a long and gradual evolution of star formation, lasting billions of years before they become dead. However, some galaxies can die very early and rapidly due to internal or external factors that quench their star formation. This is the case for the galaxy Jadis Gs Z71 q which was observed by the James Webb Space Telescope when the universe was only 700 million years old. This galaxy is the oldest dead galaxy ever detected, and it challenges our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve in the early universe. Why is it so surprising to find a dead galaxy so early in the universe? Because at that time, the universe was filled with abundant gas and dust, and most galaxies were very active and star-forming. Galaxies need a rich supply of gas to form new stars, and the early universe was like an all-you-can-eat buffet, said Tobias Luzer, the lead author of the study. It's only later in the universe that we start to see galaxies stop forming stars. So, how did this galaxy die so fast and so early? And what does that tell us about the early universe and galaxy evolution? These are some of the questions that this discovery raises and that we will try to answer in this video. The JWST operates in the infrared spectrum, which allows it to peer through the dust and gas that block the visible light from the earliest and farthest galaxies. It uses a technique called redshift to measure the distance and the age of the objects it observes. Redshift is the phenomenon of light stretching due to the expansion of the universe. The higher the redshift, the farther and older the object is. JDES GS 701Q has a redshift of 7.01, which means it is located about 13 billion light years away from Earth, and it formed about 700 million years after the Big Bang. The galaxy is also very small and light, with a mass of only about 10 billion times that of the Sun, compared to the hundreds of billions of solar masses of typical dead galaxies. The JWST data also indicate that the galaxy had a very short and intense burst of star formation, lasting somewhere between 30 million to 90 million years, before it abruptly stopped, leaving behind a population of old and red stars that emit mainly infrared light. This is why the JWST was able to detect it, while other telescopes could not. The JWST is the only telescope capable of seeing such faint and distant galaxies and uncovering their mysteries. The JWST uses different types of detectors for the near and mid-infrared ranges. The near-infrared detectors are made of mercury-cadmium telluride, HGCDTE, and have about 4 million pixels each. The mid-infrared detectors are made of arsenic-doped silicon, Psi as, and have about 1 million pixels each 234. These detectors are very sensitive and can record the feeble light from faraway galaxies, stars, and planets. The discovery of JD's GSZ 701 QU poses a puzzle for astronomers, as it contradicts the current models of galaxy evolution that are based on the modern universe. Current models cannot explain how the galaxy not only took shape in less than a billion years after the Big Bang, 
but also shut down its star factory so quickly, said Roberto Maiolino, a co-author of the study and an astrophysicist at the Kavli Institute for Cosmology, Cambridge, KICC. We may need to revisit our models and include some new physics or mechanisms that we don't understand yet. Some of the possible explanations for the galaxy's death include radiation from a supermassive black hole, feedback from supernova explosions, or a lack of gas replenishment from the surrounding environment. However, none of these scenarios can fully account for the galaxy's properties and history, according to the researchers. The discovery of Jade's GS Z7Z01QU is a testament to the power and potential of the JWST, the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope. The JWST's infrared vision allows it to peer through the dust and gas that obscure the earliest objects in the universe and reveal their secrets. By finding more galaxies like JDS GS Z701Q, astronomers hope to learn more about the history and the fate of the cosmos and answer some of the fundamental questions about the origin and the evolution of the stars, the galaxies, and the universe itself. We're not sure if any of those scenarios can explain what we've now seen with Webb, Maialino said. We need more observations and more data to confirm or rule out our hypotheses. The discovery, made possible by the JWST's infrared vision, opens new windows into the history and the fate of the cosmos. How many more dead galaxies are hiding in the distant universe? And what can they tell us about the origin and the evolution of the stars, the galaxies, and the universe itself? This discovery is a remarkable achievement of science and technology, and a testament to the power of human curiosity and exploration. It also raises new questions and new possibilities for the future of astronomy and cosmology. What other secrets are waiting to be uncovered by the JWST? And what will they reveal about the nature and the destiny of our universe? These are some of the questions that we will keep asking and searching for answers as we continue to marvel at the wonders of the cosmos. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this discovery and what other topics you would like me to cover. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the universe.